Well, hi guys, it's that time. That's our Bible teaching snippet of the day. And actually, I don't know that I'm going to do a Bible teaching snippet, but I just have something on my heart. I've just been spending some time alone with God in my room. And let me get turned a little bit. I'm not comfortable. And I've just had on my mind, it just came to my memory, and I did not make notes. Guys, I really, okay, I'm going to get on to myself today. I seem to do that pretty good on Facebook with some, sometimes I get on a little rants. So I'm going to get on to me today. I need to start writing stuff down because I have some of the most amazing stories. So this story, I don't have the specific date or anything. I do know that I was in Colorado going to uh, Karis Bible College. I was headed back home to Tennessee uh, for a weekend or whatever. And I am in a connection flight in the airport between flights. I'm standing in line because I don't have a seat assignment. The, the flight actually got overbooked, you know, how they do that. And I'm in line to get a seat assignment, right? And uh, I'm just standing there kind of just minding my own business, really. And uh, this young boy walks up to me. He's like 12 years old, and he just starts talking to me. <clears throat> And we talk about my iPhone, and he's like, is that an iPhone? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, my dad says he might get me one of those. And I said, well, here, you want to look at mine? He's like, oh, no, no, I won't know. And I said, it's okay, you can, ha you can look at my phone. And I handed it to him. And he and I are just standing around talking, and just, and his grandmother walks up. He's traveling with her. It's his little sister and him and his grandmother. And his grandmother walks up, and she, I can tell she's a little bit, like, shocked. And uh, she just she gets in the conversation, and we're talking. Uh, and so anyway, we end up going and sitting on a bench together, this woman and her two grandkids. And I just struck up this conversation with her and was talking to her about how I got born again. And cause she'd asked me where I'd been and where I was headed. I told her I was headed home to visit my husband uh, from the Bible college. And so I'm just talking to her about God and just nothing specific, just telling her things about my life and how good God is and some of the miracles that I've seen and everything. And as I'm just, and I didn't even know, look, the two kids were off on a bench of their own, and but he had wandered back over and was sitting behind me listening to everything. And the little lady that was with them, she's, she's just holding my hand and just engaged in everything I'm saying. And then she starts telling me about her husband and how he's got kidney failure, and that's why he couldn't travel with them. And so we prayed for her husband, and I commanded healing and stuff like that in his body. And, uh, but the young boy started talking again, and he said, Did you know that I know that God is real now? And I said, you do? Well, that's awesome, baby. And he looked at me and he said, well, I didn't believe that till today. And I thought, okay. And he said, but after listening to you talk, I know he's real. I know that Jesus is real. Guys, that just blew me away that this young man, just a 12-year-old actually, so he's a teenager, uh, he did not believe in God and just listening to me talk about God to his grandmother and how awesome God is and all the things that God had done in my life and how grateful I was. Uh, this young man turned around and actually started believing in God. His grandmother started crying, and she just held it in until he walked off and went back over to his sister. And she took me by the hand. She says, I have no idea who you are, but God sent you to us today. He never talks to strangers. And that's why I was so shocked when I walked up in line. And you and, and my son, grandson was engaged in such a great conversation. And y'all were laughing and playing. And he was having a really good time with you. Because he's just not like that. He is kind of closed and doesn't talk to people. And I thought it was odd that he would just walk up to you and talk to you the way he did. And then she explained to me that this young man's mother had told him that there was no such thing as God, that it was just a bunch of church junk, and it was a bunch of religion, and it was man-made, and it was a way that men could control people in society. And so this young boy, he believed his mom because he spends more time with his mom. So she puts all that mess in him about there's not really a God and everything. But this woman 
was just amazed that just a casual meeting of a lady in an airport totally flipped her grandson around. And trust me, that really, really meant a lot to me. And I don't know why God put that on my heart this morning, but I was just thinking about me driving here to Wichita Falls instead of flying, and I got wandering off on all the different flights. And guys, I got airport miracles. You hear me? I got miracles in airports. I love to fly because uh, I get to... Uh, you know, I've got a captive audience in an airport and especially on an airplane, and I'll have to share some of those stories with you about me being on airplanes and the conversations that I have with people. Some of the best places I go to talk to people where their hearts are open are hospitals and airports, believe it or not. But anyway, I want to finish the story real quick, and then I'm hopping off here because uh, I'm going to go out and do a little bit, bit of what I call kingdom work. Uh, I'm going to walk like a son of God, and I'm going to be a blessing to the earth. I'm going, I've got heaven in me. I've got God in me, and I'm going to let it roll out of me, and it's going to get sticky and gooey because I'm going to get it all over everybody I come in contact with today. <laughs> and that's how I live. But uh, let me finish my story. So as we were getting ready to leave, the uh, flights had been delayed a little bit and all, and I asked this lady, and I could tell she wasn't really used to flying alone without another adult, and I said, can I walk you all to your uh, gate? And as we're walking down the corridor there headed to another gate, she put her arm on me and was holding me here. And she said, please tell me, are you really real? Are you, are you? And that's why she was touching me. She's like, are you really, really real? Or, or, or you know, are you an angel? You, 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 or you're, you're not even real. Or you're not like a real person. You just came here for us today, didn't you? Uh, because the Bible talks about we'll entertain angels unaware in Hebrews. And I said, no, ma'am, I assure you, I am very much real. I am a real person. <laughs> and uh, she got my name and address, and we, she wrote to me and was telling me the progress with her grandson and how he wanted to go to church and learn more about God. And, guys, I'm telling you, it was a blessing to her because I explained to her that God wanted her husband to be well and that he wanted him to be healed. And I got to pray for her husband, and her grandson got flipped over in his belief and he knew there was a God and started going to church. So that's my uh, little story today. So here's the thing. You know, yesterday I gave a pretty hard teaching about us walking in love. And it's all. It, I don't want it to come across like I'm getting on to you. I want you to see the fruits of your fruit. When you walk in the fruit of the Spirit, in love, joy, peace, forbearance, uh, staying calm and loving people, Things like what happened to me in that airport, it just happens. It happens. People come to you. They feel the Spirit of God on you, and they feel that peace that you bring to them, and they want that. We're in a hungry, hurting world, and if we are the light of the world, we're the light of the world. We're, we're what shows people there's really a God and that there's hope for all mankind. So, guys... When you go out, show the love of God to people. They need you, okay? I'll see you tomorrow right here on Facebook. Bye-bye.